So I made a satire video a while back regarding how to cook Maggi noodles. The video was meant to replicate how to basic for cooking Maggi, but um, yeah, people were rightfully angry. So let me just tell you how you can actually cook it or how I actually cook it. One thing to note is that you will never get the perfect texture and the perfect uh, flavor if you're cooking in a microwave, anything in a microwave. Cooking on a stove will always give the best food. First off, just put the cut down version of the noodles in a cup, preferably plastic or glass for, for the microwave. I usually like my Maggi noodles very dry and very broken down, so it might not be good for you, but you can follow whatever uh, step you want. I crushed everything and poured it uh, in a cup and add water. If you want the Maggi to be extremely dry, then just uh, fill the water the, so such that it just submerges it. If you want it to be more soupy, then put more water. And as I said, I like my uh, noodles very dry. After that, put your cup in the microwave and heat it for two minutes. My microwave works in 900 watts, so it was heating for two minutes. After heating till that time, just take it out and mix it thoroughly. And then add your taste maker and mix it again. Make sure that the taste maker doesn't clump up and it's distributed thoroughly. After doing that, put your cup back in the microwave. Here is where things change. What I suggest doing is in the intervals of 30 seconds, keep taking your cup out and keep mixing it. And when you, want, when you find the right texture or flavor, then you can stop cooking it. So basically what I did is I kept it in the microwave, cooked it for 30 seconds, I checked it. It wasn't good enough, so I cooked it again for 30 seconds. If you're too lazy, then you can do this in the intervals of one minute. So after boiling for two minutes and putting the taste maker, put it in the microwave for one minute and check if it's good enough. If it's not good enough, then put it in again after mixing and it tried being variable. That's usually how I cook it and uh, it came just like I expected it to come. It was extremely dry and that's how I like it. If you like it soupy, then just put more water and, and that should be enough for you. Just put more water, cook it for two minutes, take it out, mix it with the taste maker, uh, put it in, cook it for 30 seconds, check if it's good enough. If it's not good enough, cook it again for 30 seconds and just repeat it until it's fine. And yeah, uh, of course it doesn't look as appetizing as it is when you're cooking it on a stove, but it's pretty good enough. And as I said before, if you want to have the best flavor and texture, it's always advised to cook it on a pan. Uh, or any other vessel on a stove rather than in a microwave. Microwave will never give you the best food. And that's yeah, uh, this is the serious video. This wasn't satire, so I hope this works for you. Just keep experimenting until you find the right recipe because there isn't really a best recipe for a microwave version of any food. I'll see you guys later.